Okay, so today's review on Obsessed Garage's tire dressing is going to consist of starting off with a fresh wheel coated with Call of Night 845, Just Core Power Lock, and a few coats of, um, well, I would say a few sprays of bead maker. So, what I have here is his tire dressing, and I slapped on their Griot's Garage sprayer because it doesn't really come with one, but per Upsess Garage's directions, we're going to decontaminate the tire, which I already cleaned with Beadmaker and dried off, but for this tire dressing here to adhere to the tire, we need to make sure that the tire is free of any gunk, and to do that, I know Upsess Garage Matt uses um, a tire um, maybe a tar remover, but I found that invisible glass, which we all should have, does the same job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the invisible glass all over the tire. I'm going to take my tire rag. I'm going to go to town here, clean up all the gunk from the tire. And it's okay if it gets onto the rim because the window cleaner is a great liquid that evaporates pretty quickly. So I'm going to hit it two times, make sure I have everything on the tire cleaned. Okay, now that I've got all my gunk off, let's go take a look at the tire. If you see, you notice the tire is left with a dry, clean consistency that can hold the tire dressing. So let's let me go ahead and get my race glaze brush, and we can continue applying the tire dressing. Um, this is the applicator that I'm going to be using. It says 16. I'm not too sure if you can see that, but it's a 16 gauge. Uh, what is it called? The race glaze applicator brush that Obsessed Garage uses. Um, I found that this brush is pretty soft and it, and it has really strong bristles that won't tear or leave like other cheaper brands. So what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and apply the tire dressing. What we do is I'm taking the sprayer. It has to be open. Let's go ahead and spray some in here. Just a tire. A few sprays each time because these tires are pretty dry. They they have not taken anything yet. Making sure to get inside of the crevices. This brush is pretty stout, so bristles do not harm the rim or the tire at that fact. What I'm doing is just trying to saturate the tire with the tire dressing so that the rubber gets used to the tire dressing and accepts it. Again it's okay if there is some of the tire dressing on the wheel. Let's go ahead and take a brush and wipe it all off. I may add that the tire dressing smells really good. Reminds me of Adam's Polish's uh, shampoo, car shampoo. All right, so that seems to be coated well. If we go ahead and look at the tire right now, you can see that the dressing is totally on there. We're gonna leave it, let it sit for about a couple minutes. As I go around the car. You can see the tire dressing is allowing, I'm, I'm allowing it to, to soak in. And then we'll come around after five minutes and then we'll wipe it, wipe the excess off and we'll see what kind of finish we are left with.
Okay, it is now time to wipe off the excess and I will zoom in closer to let you guys see what the tire shine looks like after a wipe. So right now I'm using a, a separate, another one of my towels, specifically for the tires. What we're going to do is we're going to use this towel to, to wipe off the excess. Tire dressing. And I'll bring you guys in closer to see. Okay, if you notice, bring you closer into your the tire sheen is sub wow. The tire sheen on this tire is fantastic. Bring it in closer, you can see. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna show you that when I rub it here, nothing comes off. So focus. Nothing. Now I do want to preface this saying that this tire shine was given a few times of applications on the same tire and Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage makes it clear that you will need a few applications to make sure that tire dressing is completely soaking into the tire. I did also want to say that I have experimented with this tire dressing before and I'm reporting that there has been no issues with slinging and that the tire shine in the without sunlight has a sateen blacker finish and in the sunlight there's a, a distinct shine that wasn't existent when I had CarPro Pro on the, the tire. So right now I'm coming from using CarPro Tire, um, CarPro Pearl, and I'm going to report that this tire dressing from Matt Moran is 100% legit.